Working in the spirit of the Golden Empire, this is 17 News at 11. Good evening. Thanks for joining us for 17 News at 11. I'm Laura Lizarraga. We'll have more from the festival coming up. Now to some local fun at the Kern County Fairgrounds for the 6th Annual Cesar Chavez Festival. 17's Mary Kate Paquette has a wrap of everything from the fancy cars to the live music, all of it benefiting the Cesar Chavez Foundation. Cotton candy grapes made national headlines the last few years, the unique variety grown right here in Kern County. And for the third year, International Fruit Genetics has opened its vineyards to the Kern County chapter of California Rare Fruit Growers, allowing them to taste the different grape flavors and learn about the grape growing process. Locally, efforts are being made to comply with the Sustainable Groundwater Management Act, and that's the subject of tonight's Kern County In-Depth. The Bakersfield Museum celebrated its 20th annual Via Arte Italian Street Painting Festival this weekend. The two-day event wrapped up this evening at the Marketplace, but don't worry, you still have time to see the incredible works of art. And 17's Mary Kay Paquette has more. Here at home, another life may be lost to the Kern River as the two-day search for a missing Bakersfield man turns into a recovery mission. An accident last night in southeast Bakersfield sounded so loud it brought people out of their homes. A vehicle with three people inside ran into a train causing some serious injuries and one of those passengers was a child. Thousands of migrants fleeing poverty and crime in their home countries are now in a standoff at the border between Mexico and Guatemala. The president says they're headed for the U.S. and only Republicans can stop them. NBC's Chris Pallone reports. Still to come on 17 News at 11, what's better than puppies? Well, for some of us, puppies and firemen. To get these dogs adopted and try and find them nice loving homes. And today was the first ever Mutts and Fire Trucks adoption event in Bakersfield, and it was all about helping homeless dogs find families. Plus, runners earning their Sunday this Sunday. We'll take you to the Bakersfield first ever Hot Fudge Sunday 5K when 17 News at 11 continues. 